my lab is trying to understand the signals um, that make epithelial cells start moving. And these are cells such as the lining of your intestine that form barriers. So they have to move normally when these tissues develop or repair themselves. And then when tumors arise in these tissues, the tumor cells hijack these normal processes um, to exit the primary tumor and start metastasizing. So we're trying to understand how this process happens. We must continue research such as Dr. Santis. We've got a generations long battle behind us and probably many more years to go, but we are seeing progress. And that progress is happening in laboratories like Dr. Santis, like Dr. Zhang's. So important to continue this. The ACS has a grant submission deadlines and you write a proposal for your idea for research. So I wrote this proposal discussing how we thought the epithelial cells were starting to migrate, why we thought this, and the plan I had for testing this model. It was then reviewed by a panel of other scientists who review all of the grants that come in during that grant cycle, um, and they then rank them and decide which ones should receive money. So when I was contacted by the ACS, by the program director, um, to tell me that my grant was going to be funded, I was incredibly excited and also very honored because I know how competitive this, uh, this grant competition is and how few grants that they are able to fund every cycle. Um, so it was an incredible honor. Over the last 50 years, the American Cancer Society has provided 103 grants to Penn State University for a total of nearly $20 million. It's just so cool when you think about that relationship that we've had and how wonderful it is to people that not only live in this area, but throughout the world, that this research is making a difference to people with cancer. The strategy the American Cancer Study has in funding cancer researchers, we've traditionally and historically have always funded new and, uh, and starting research programs. We give many researchers their first true funding and become um, a player in, in the cancer research field. Many of our researchers have gone on to win Nobel Prizes for medicine. And many of our researchers have looked back on their careers and said that I got started because of the American Cancer Society. And it actually laid a foundation for me to be able to go and get funding from larger organizations like, like the NCI. So my ACS grant also supports uh, a couple of graduate students, and there have been different students over the years, who are part of the PhD program in the Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Department. Um, and they're the ones who do the bulk of the work, in fact, um, as their, so their thesis research is on this project that's funded by the ACS. At the beginning of their graduate career, of course, they need a little more hands-on help by the end of their PhD, they're pretty independent um, and working by themselves, and they're ready to go on and sort of guide research projects on their own. Research personally means everything to me. I, my doctors were not optimistic when I was diagnosed. Um, they, they were very um, uh, clear about my chances of 5% and felt that I had disease that was serious enough that even at stage 3, it was a very um, progressed stage 3, and um, that they thought probably I wasn't going to have that much success. The scientists that worked on these, uh, the protocol for multiple myeloma received a grant from the American Cancer Society in 2003 and then received a second one in 2005. And from those two grants, he was able to um, uh, perfect a protocol that um, was given to me and that's why I'm here today. Good news for folks in, in the state college market is that we're investing funds right in research programs right here. And uh, right now we have two active research programs that are going on. And we know in the history of our relationship with, with Penn State uh, Health Systems that $20 million has been invested in the Penn State programs. And it's because of the good research that's done in this, in this program as well as the partnership that we have. Because of all the research that's being done to understand how cancer cells arise, how they interact with the body, 
um, how they metastasize, we will eventually be able to find better and better treatments and cures to prevent people from dying of this disease.